Welcome back. Nothing says love like a handmade valentine. And Linda Yamamoto from Yam Stamps is back with some great ideas. Yes. I hope so. I hope you think they're yeah, wonderful. Great ideas. Uh, so yes, uh, these are Valentine ideas that you can give to a loved one. So that could be a spouse, a partner, you a know, best boyfriend, friend. girlfriend, best friend, neighbors, coworkers, whatever you like. Okay. Um, and they don't have to be that difficult. I'm all into not difficult. So the first thing I thought I'd show you is a little packaging idea. Actually, it goes this way. Uh, it's a little folded heart. It's really easy to make. Kids can make these at home. You can make a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to turn this here for Sorry. Like, Whoa. Turn it that way there. So there's a little kiss inside. There we go. So all you need, you have a strip of paper there as well, if you nope. like. Right. So you're going to fold your strip of paper. So this one is 3 quarters inch by 6 inches, if you want to make measurements. And you're just going to fold it in half. Okay. Okay, you're going to fold yours in half the other way. The other way. Sorry. I'm already Only doing I, this wrong. I tried to help and I pre-taped everything. That's and I what's have a little me. bit. Okay. Yep. Yeah, fold it in half and crease it. Okay. And I, I have a little bit of two-sided tape already on there, so you have to peel off the little cover for it. So you can use tape. Um, I have seen people use staples. I can't do staples. I peeled though. some of the. That's okay. Okay, it's good. All right. And then what you're going to actually do then is just curl it in. I don't know. Okay. And meet your two ends together to make the top, yeah, top part of the heart. Yeah, got it. And there you have it. That's how that easy was, it is. That's so easy. So then if you make them a little wider, you can put a little candy inside. If you want, you could punch holes in them and you could string them and make a little garland. How cute is that? So really easy decoration, just a little something. You can leave okay. it on somebody's desk. All right, okay, that's so that's neat. an easy one. Next, of course, we have to do some stamping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one of the cards that I brought. Um, so it's a really easy technique. It looks more difficult okay. than it actually is, and that's, again, what I'm all about. So <laughs> <laughs> what I'm going to do, first of all, is I've got this t uh, special glue that is permanent when it's wet, and it's temporary when it's dry. So it, when it's wet, it's blue, and when it's dry, it's clear. So I've already pre... I'm just going to do this so they don't and, stick and together I, forever. I did my work ahead of time. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Uh, we're going to stack up the paper like so okay okay and then we're gonna stamp so what you're gonna do I'll just show you quickly and then you can carry on okay you're just gonna stamp your image across all the layers okay so I'll let you do a bit of that okay Whoa. and you do classes on these I do classes on them I have a monthly class the first Wednesday of every month if you're in the Burlington area and if you're not I have online classes or I can travel to you I mean within reason <laughs> We don't driving. have viewers out like Nova yeah, Scotia. I know, Redford. driving distance <laughs> from Burlington. <laughs> but it's a fun, easy thing to do. And when you come to a class or when you do something online, I tell you all the instructions and pre-cut. Okay, and, so, oh, and I'm doing this one too? In the middle. Oh, I don't know if I have room in the middle. That's the fun yep. about stamping, though. It's all about doing what you want. That's right. There are no mistakes. <laughs> There's two sides to paper, too. Okay, yes. So what's going to happen is you're going to take it apart now. See, mine wasn't quite dry when I stuck it together. <laughs> And then we're going to stick it onto your layers. So you have two layers that are corresponding sizes. Okay. You're just going to stick it on. And then keep sticking. Yeah. So I've already pre-cut the layers. So what the layers will do is it hides if there's any sort of missing gap in your image. It also is kind of like a, it almost looks like a, a photo frame or something, right? Yeah, it's fun. And then when you stick them together, ultimately, you're just going to line up your images. Ah, got it. Wow, this looks so difficult, but it, I, even I can do it. <laughs> it's that easy. You're, you're a pretty good crafter, though. I mean, come on. Oh, I do like doing this stuff. Yes. And then this is your card over here that you can fold in half. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I'm go. very proud of that. I know. Ooh. And see how fast that was? It was really, really fast. No, you don't. You know, you don't have any classes before Valentine's Day. I don't. You missed them already, right. unfortunately. But you um, on your blog, yes. we'll, and we'll get the link up to your blog yep. as well, where you can get information about classes or even about getting some of these uh, yep. these pieces. Yamstamps.com. I have lots of samples up there, and I'm going to have project ideas up there later uh, from the projects today. Okay, and we'll get the link on up on our okay. website as well. Okay, I'm going to finish up mine, and okay. you've got another one you're going to start. Got one more project we can show. It's a folded heart, so I'm going to. We have 90 seconds. Okay, for telling me. all right. So I'm going to just decorate my paper really quickly. So if you're at home, you can use a, a roll like this if you have one. I'm going to set this aside because it's wet. 
okay? Uh, or you could use two-sided paper. You use copy paper. Let's see how fast I can do this. If we don't get this through, I'll, I promise okay. I'll put the instructions on I'm just going to watch you. Okay, so we're going to fold it in half. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to fold up to the middle. I think I'm going to run out of time, I can tell. <laughs> this, is good. this is good because it's not cardstock, right? So it's a lot easier yeah. to fold? Yeah. Much easier to fold. I love the design that that stamp made because it's almost like a twelve, but it's it's just really it's really yes. beautiful. Very straightforward and About simple. About a minute. Okay. We can do this. So the folded in half. Oh, minute piece of cake. <laughs> so what I did was folded the two sides in to meet the fo center fold. Fold it in half this way. I'm going to crease the edges, and then I'm going to poke them in. So this is a bit of origami for your day. Ah. But again, and it's good on your website too, too because you've got uh, you've got video on there yes. to show a lot of this. So there you go. Okay. Make a little heart, and then you can tack down the center. You can write a little note in here. It's like those secret little notes that you used to it pass is. in school. Oh, I've messed it up already. Look, no, I forgot no. one fold. <laughs> That's <laughs> this is what beautiful, it's though. To look like. <laughs> Very cute. And I mean, you've got all kinds of ideas. Stampin' Up sells, you know, different kinds of things for um, for Valentine's Day. We've got all different kinds yes, of options Yes, we have here. lots of But occasions. I mean, all just like wedding stuff, all kinds of stuff. Yes, definitely. There's digital stuff. There's paper crafting stuff. You name it, you can okay. do it. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Okay, Linda, thanks so much. Our heart goes out to you. <laughs> and uh, we've got more Morning Live coming up at 9.30. Stay <laughs>